Hello students, hope you are all in classes are going well. In the previous class, we have studied what we mean by scalars and vectors under the topic motion in one dimension. So in today's concept, today's class, let us go to study about the next concept what we mean by rest and motion. And even let us study the meaning of what we mean by one dimension motion and what actually the two dimension motion and three dimension motion is. So before going to the actual topic of what you mean by rest motion, let us discuss about day to day activities of life which we will be doing. So we already know that in a day to day life everything is in a motion, right? For example, let us consider birds are flying around us, we see them, and daily we see on the roads that vehicles are moving from one place to another place. Why all this? The planet in which we are living itself is revolving around the sun. Where is sun is at rest? No. Even sun is under the motion. Sun is rotating around the galaxies. Is galaxies are at rest? No. Even they are rotating at their own axis. So, even keeping this in mind, we come to the conclusion that everything in the universe are under motion. But still, to our convenience in physics, we consider some scenarios to be at rest and some scenarios to be in motion. What exactly? What actually that is? Let us quickly find it out. Now, before going to the concept, let us see the definition. What the rest definition tells: A body is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its immediate surroundings. What actually it tells? For example, to explain the concept of rest, let us consider. Very often, you all will be asking us to take PT, PT. The reason is that we want to go out and enjoy. Yes, think a situation that we are in the ground. What are the things you see around in a ground? You see that all the students, rest of your colleagues, or rest of your friends are playing. They are running from here to there. You will be playing that. Along with that, we see some chairs, which is a rest. According to you, what is the position of the chair? According to us, the position of the chair is always at rest. Not only the chairs, we have a very beautiful trees in our playground. What actually according to that? According to that, we can tell according to us, all those trees are at always rest. Yes, this is what the rest concept tells in physics. According to us, if anything is considered to be at rest, that is considered to be the state of rest itself. We have to consider everything according to us. For example, let us see that a stone lying on the ground. Obviously, does the stone change its position unless we take it from one place to another place? No. So always, what it is? According to us, the stone is always lying on the ground. So in our view, it is in the state of rest. Now let us go for the motion. What do you mean by motion? A body is said to be in motion. If it changes its position with respect to its immediate surroundings, just the reverse way of rest, there is nothing but a motion. Now, according to you, according to the respect to us, if anything is changing its position, it is considered to be its motion. Now, let, let us take. Now, first, actually, you see a birds. Birds may be sitting at some place. We tell that birds are at rest. How can you tell that? Because according to our view that birds at that point of time it is at rest after some time what happens it starts flying now according to us the birds are being flying means it is in the state of motion so the examples for this let us take birds flying the second ones car and buses are moving both these birds flying and cars and birds which is being moving even it is considered in the state of rest when when according to us whenever we see them if they are in the state of rest they are considered to be in the state of rest. We have to see it with our point of view. No doubt that the entire universe is being revolving. It means it is in the motion. We know that earth itself is moving. But still, to our convenience, few scenarios we need to consider to be at rest and motion. How? According to us, if few things are at rest, few things will be in motion. Hope you have understood what is the concept of rest and motion. Now let, let us go for the next topic, what do you mean by one dimension motion? That is the name of our chapter itself, that is motion in one dimension. Then what actually the motion in one dimension is? Nothing but just consider here, I have a chalk in my hand. I am just leaving the chalk downwards. How did it move? 
we can move in this right way. Now come to the topic definition. Let us see that when a body, in this case the body was a chalk, moves along a straight line path. Is it not question to yourself? What is the position it is being taken by a chalk? It is moving along a straight line path. Its motion is said to be one dimension motion. The motion in the sense from my hand to the other hand, what it does the path travel is considered to be motion. So always the things, any body in the universe which is moving in a straight line path is considered to be nothing but one dimension motion. To undertake it, make the concept clear, let us take few examples. The very first one is the motion of a train on a straight track. Question to yourself, you may be wondered what is the spelling? Always, does a train move on a straight track? No, even the train moves in a curved track, but I am not taking that as an example. I am taking that the motion of a train on a straight track itself. If a train is being moving in a straight track, then that example, that situation is considered to be what type of motion? It is one dimension motion. Understand? A train can travel even in a curved place. At some junctions, we know that train is going to travel in curves. But that condition or that situation, I will explain to you later what it is called as a sophomore. Let us come to the second example. What is the second example? A car moving on a long straight road. You might know, we know that many highways, you might have seen how the roads look in a highways, very straight. It doesn't mean that car also even doesn't move curves, it goes. That concept is different. If any object that is moving in a straight line path and that type of motion what we study comes under one dimension motion. Understood? So, there are many examples you can take for that. Along it doesn't mean that only these two are the examples. Anything in the universe. One very good example I am going to give right now. You have studied in your light chapter. What is the property of a light? The very important, the first property of light is light always travels in a straight line. And we have another name for that. It is called rectilinear propagation of light. What do you mean by rectilinear propagation? That's a property which always moves in a straight line. This is the concept. So we have few notes which comes under one dimension motion that makes you to make you to understand the concept very clear. So let us see the first one. What is the first one? One dimension motion is also called rectilinear motion. What it is? Rectilinear motion. I just told you before. What do you mean by one dimension motion? The other thing we can give us what do you mean by rectilinear motion? What do you mean by rectilinear is which travels in a straight path? Which travels in a straight path. Look at here. When a body moves along a straight line path, its motion is said to be one dimension motion. Did it clear the concept? Anything, anything in a universe which is being keep on moving in a straight line path, that is nothing but one dimension motion. And such motion is called as even straight line motion and even rectilinear motion. Now you might have wondered that whether there is only one dimension motion then we don't have any two dimension or three dimension. Yes, we do have what you mean by two dimension and three dimension. Now let us see that in a second one. If a body moves on a plane along a curved path, its motion is called two dimension. Mark your word curved path. I just told you before. Very good example. If a train travels in a straight line path, we consider it to be a one dimension motion, a straight line path. If the same train of any object is not only a train, anything in the universe which moves along a curved path, such to study that we need to take what we mean by two dimension. That study of such type of motion is nothing but two dimension motion. Then do we have any three dimension motion? Yes, we do have. What it is? If a body moves in a space, its motion is called three dimensional. If we want to study something like a rocket moving in a space, if you consider, if you want to study those, how does a rocket move in a space, we need to understand the concept of what you mean by three dimensional motion. But don't worry that this two dimension and three dimension concept you are going to study in your PUC or that is in your 11th and 12th classes. As of now, we have only what you what is motion in one dimension. I think by this time you should have understood the entire chapter of yours. 
that is the second chapter in motion in one dimension the study of the particle which is always in in a straight line we are not taking into consider what you mean by curved path or in a body moving in a space let us see the fourth important one in one dimension motion there is no movement of the body in lateral direction what do you mean by a lateral direction lateral direction is nothing but it's not moving a straight line it's going lateral in the sense shifting from one place so look here this is how actually moving in a straight line so what do you mean by lateral is which is moving in this direction for example in the life chapter we have taken last year's life chapter we have a rectangular glass there how does the light moves in a rectangular glass there this is if you take consider to be a incident ray here it undergoes refraction and bends towards the normal again it undergoes it undergoes refraction here and moves away from the normal it comes back to the same medium actually if there was no glass block here how would the light have been traveled light should have been traveled straight but due to the glass block it is moving from rarer medium to denser medium the light is undergoing what it is undergoing refraction and there is a shift if there was no glass block light would have been traveled in this direction but actually now light have traveled in this direction means the shift what is happened is nothing but lateral shift what it is lateral shift so did you understand now so in the case of motion in one dimension we doesn't have a lateral direction in the sense side wave motion we always have a straight line motion if we have a side wave or straight wave motion it comes under what two dimension motion if we have the object which is moving in a space we will have to study under three dimension motion this two topics will come to your higher classes i hope today you have been understand what is the concept of rest and motion and what you mean by motion in one dimension if any doubts be free and up to us and we will meet tomorrow again in the next next video that explaining you what you what are the examples of scalar circuits that is, that is nothing but we discuss of what you mean by distance displacement speed velocity and acceleration thank you